Welcome. I thought you might enjoy observing a white worm culture up close. All right. I'll share a few tidbits here while you uh, check this out. What you are seeing are white worms that are near some food. So, like, when you see a picture of a white worm culture that has that ring of white worms around their food, you're looking at a, a portion of that right now. So these worms right now are transiting to and, some, to and from some food that's directly off screen here. This medium happens to be quite saturated right now. I added water to drive the worms more to the surface for this video, so I don't normally culture them this wet. Though white worms in many aspects can be considered semi-aquatic, so they're quite happy right now even with uh, this much water. All right, but like I said, I don't, I don't culture them this wet. The thing that uh, this video says to me that I most love about white worms is how dense a colony is, right? White worms, Daphnia, consider this, all right? Daphnia are considered one of the most uh, reproductive organisms in the world, right? Well, white worms are almost as reproductive, okay? So consider that, but keep... Consider this, that white worms live in much denser masses. So just this tiny frame that you're seeing has how many worms in it, right? And then there's a big ring of that, correct? So uh, a white worm culture is very productive and uh, very dense. So it holds just a lot of organisms. So a white worm culture can produce a lot of uh, a lot of worms to feed a lot of fish, right? I probably get half of my fish food from white worms alone, and I culture um, a couple different things, right? So, white worms are a really, really great culture. All right, like I said, I wanted to give you a few moments to just observe this up close. Hope you enjoyed it.